Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today I have a totally new video for you. Today, let's try out this crazy Loopity Loops yarn. Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back. I have a totally new type of video for you today. I found myself at Joanne the other day um, and I was buying yarn for a different project and I got thinking to myself, maybe I can find some kind of crazy novelty yarn or something while I'm at Joanne to do a video about. So anyway, I found this yarn. It is Big Twist Yarns Loopity Loop. Um, this isn't sponsored by Joanne or anything. I literally just was there buying other supplies and decided to pick this up and try it because I just thought it would be a fun video. Um, so it claims that you don't need any needles or hooks. It's all hands. Um, so I have really no idea how this works. Um, I just have one ball here, um, but I did on the Joanne website find a pattern, um, and I'll leave a link to this yarn and the pattern that I found on the Joanne website down below because um, I literally had no idea how I was supposed to do this. So um, anyway, I found the pattern. Um, the pattern is just for a basic scarf um, and it actually does need two balls to complete a scarf, but I just have the one. I basically was just going to like try out a little swatch for you guys. But um, So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to figure out. I think I want to probably go from the outside of the skein because I feel like with all these loops, if I try to pull from the inside, I'm going to make a giant mess. I feel like I'm not even going to find the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the label off here and I'm just going to work from the outside. It just seems like that might be the best way to go. So again here, you can see the color is sea foam, and um, you get a whopping 18.2 yards for your 6.35 ounce um, ball of yarn here. And it's 100% polyester. I mean, it definitely is like fuzzy. So I don't know. We'll just see. I just was like, I thought this like would be fun to try and you know, we're kind of getting into that last minute um, holiday gift zone. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. So um, I'm not going to like completely read out the pattern because um, if you want the pattern, you can go on the Joanne website and get it. Um, but I'm just more uh, using it just so I could figure out what the heck I was supposed to do with this. So basically it says that you're just starting with however many loops you want. I should also point out, like, this is really me trying it live. I have not tried this before. This was the only ball I bought. So you guys are getting real time here. We're trying to figure out this uh, loopity loop yarn together. Okay, so you would take the number of loops that you want. I don't know how many this is, doesn't matter. And then you take the next loop and you insert this loop from back to front, so like this, and make a stitch. I mean, I guess I made a stitch there. Okay. And then we take the, so you're kind of like folding it over, I guess. Let's see. Let's try that again. Where did I leave off? Okay, here. So there's my stitch. So now I take the next one and loop it through like that, I think. I feel like that's twisted though. Maybe not. What if I do it like this? Maybe this would make more sense to me. I think the challenge here is going to be keeping the yarn like from getting twisted around. I'm going to take, so I'm taking the first, like this is the first row and then that's like the second row. So I guess I'm making like a little bit of stockinette. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> 
I currently feel like I could knit a scarf with regular knitting needles at a faster pace than what I am currently doing here, but. I guess it's like everything. It's just gonna take a little bit of practice. Okay. I mean, I can see how I'm like making some fabric. And I guess if you didn't knit, this would be a good, like the gateway to knitting. So you're literally just taking a loop here and a loop from the previous row and just pulling it through. Like take, it's like taking a knit stitch and pulling it through another knit stitch. Okay, so that's one row done. I made some fabric there. Row two, working from right to left. Okay, so if I'm looking at the picture on the website though, I guess, oh, it is showing like garter stitch bumps. Hmm, but I guess I don't know if that's just like I'm confused. Okay, so I guess it is showing garter stitch bumps. So I guess like it's showing this side of the work. Okay, let's try to do another row. Work this way. This is one of those things. I think it's like breaking my brain slightly. <laughs> this yarn is awfully soft though. I do see if like you maybe wanted to make like a really big like baby blanket out of this. Although I don't know if this fuzz would come off. I always get nervous about fuzzy yarns with baby stuff. Okay. All right, so I guess I see how this is working. So again, this is my working yarn. So I'm kind of holding it behind because that's what's making sense in my brain to like have the yarn behind like my fabric. And then I'm just taking the next loop to the next free loop and just going from back to front through the loop. So it's like making stock in it, I guess. Hmm. So this is kind of fun, but again, I do feel like if I was just knitting something with this thickness of yarn, I feel like I could actually knit with knitting needles faster than this is taking, but that's okay. This was fun to try. I tried to find the craziest yarn I could at the store and I think I did. Okay. So that did that that row definitely did go a little bit faster. So again, like you can't really see, I mean this yarn's so fuzzy, you can't really see any kind of real stitch definition, but you can see on the back like it is making a cool texture with the garter stitch bumps. All right, let's do one more row, how about? Okay, so I'm thinking, for me, it's easier to kind of pull the yarn out this way behind, and then. This could be fun for kids. Maybe I will get some of this yarn for my nieces who are, like six and eight. I feel like I want to get my eight-year-old niece into knitting. She's resisting it, but maybe she would like this. There's one more row. Okay, so I did a few rows there. So now let's figure out how one would um, bind this off. So again, um, the pattern, I'll leave a link to the pattern I found down below. It'll tell you like exactly how many stitches to do to make a scarf. It does call for two balls of yarn. Um, so you would just like basically repeat this process until you used up your two balls of yarn and had it to be a scarf length. And then let's see to bind off starting at the corner past the second loop. Oh, so it is just like a regular bind off. So I'm just going to take the second loop the second loop and pass it into the first loop. I'm going to take the second loop and pass it into the first loop. Second loop, pass it into the first. And just keep going down the line. Okay. 
Okay. So you can see I am getting a bind off. So it is kind of just like doing a regular, um, like a knit bind off basically. Okay. And then let's just see, cause like <laughs> you just have one loop left and let's see what the instructions say here. Okay, so we have one loop left. It says, do, 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 do. Cut last. Oh, this is weird. Oh. Huh. I think I should have bound off the other way. I didn't read the instructions. We need to go the other way. Again, you got real time. Because I had that one loop left. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this one random loop? You need to bind off towards the working yarn so you have yarn to pull through that last loop. So let's try that again. Okay, so now I've messed this up. Okay, so this goes like this. You think as a pattern designer, I would know to read the instructions first, but no, okay. So you're starting your bind off at the corner that does not have the yarn attached. So the yarn is attached over here, so we need to bind off this way. Okay, now we're at the correct end. <laughs> so yeah, you can see this side is like stockinette stitch, you know? So it's just kind of fuzzy. You don't really get good stitch definition, but on this side you get that nice sort of texture from like the garter stitch, like the from the pearl bumps, basically. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, so now we can cut the yarn just like we normally would on a regular pattern and we're gonna draw the loop the yarn through to secure cut last loop yarn and pull through okay so that secures that so basically you could just it says to securely fasten off last loop with a bit of sewing thread and needle so basically at this point you could just like cut this way down and then just with a um, needle and thread just sew your little sew your little end down and i'm sure you would just do the same thing here so cute i mean so i will say like for me i don't think that this is ever going to replace knitting obviously i love to knit and crochet um, so I don't think this process for me is going to replace just knitting a bulky scarf just with knitting needles. Um, but it was really fun to try. Um, and this is really soft. I think you can make a lot of really cool, quick gifts with it. Um, I think if you're like into doing like craft fairs and things like that, if you sell, thing at, sell things at craft fairs, I think that this, this yarn could be, um, would be a great one to use for that, especially if you don't knit or crochet. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So I just, like I said, I just thought it'd be fun to try a, uh, something new for me. Again, it's uh, Big Twist Yarns Loopity Loops. So I will leave links to this down below. If you have tried this, I'd love to know what you think about it. Um, yeah, that's it for me for today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this and you've seen some other yarn at a big box craft store, craft store. Be sure to leave a uh, comment down below and let me know and I can see if I can try to find it at my local uh, Joanne or Michaels. And um, if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like, you can turn on the notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope that everybody has a great week and that you're getting all that last minute crafting done. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye!